a Friday. Ori time. Optical fibers. Whitney is my wife. Hello there. Uh, this is my husband, Joe. I'm Jewish. I am Christian. When we told my mom that we were going to get married, she said, If a bird and fish fall in love, where do they live? The answer? Elbert, Colorado. Elbert, Colorado. But the first few years of our marriage was interesting. Yeah, well, yeah. You know, and we were getting comfortable with our religions. Right. And building a business, and we were also living with his folks. There were a lot of kind of big Dynamic. adjustments. It was like the second year with mom and dad, the second? Yeah. Second yeah, year Sammy wasn't born yet. Sammy wasn't born yet. And um, I wanted to do something that we had never done. Right. I wanted to surprise Whitney with a Christmas tree. So stinking cute. So um, we're living with mom and dad, and my mom and dad are, are wonderful people. They are. And they love Whitney, so when I asked them, hey, do you guys mind if I bring a Christmas tree into the house? They were really great about it. I thought they were going to lose their, you yeah. know what, and they did. They were like, for Whitney, anything, oh, we love it. Anyway, so I, I bought this little, it, was, it wasn't a Charlie Brown, it was actually pretty cool. It was a cute little tree. It had optical fibers in it, it was about like this tall, when you turned it on, was it? No. Okay. Well, you're making it sound like from the floor. No, 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 no. Like, it, was, it was like this tall, yeah. so it, sorry. It sat on her dresser. It was it a sat cute, on her dresser, probably sorry. two feet or so, give or take. So, um, bought the Christmas tree and I bought the ornaments. I got back from taking a final and this guy is just like sweating and breathing heavy. I was like, babe, what are you even up to? Christmas ornaments are the most difficult thing to put on in the world. He didn't know that you need the hooks. So I, he like was taking apart the ornaments and like fastening them to the tree. Took me four still hours. I'm not quite sure why he was sweating. But, four hours. Because it's like you had to piece it, I, it is, yeah. around the tree. <laughs> but then you had to, you know, get it in. So, you know, after we got our own place and started buying bigger Christmas trees, I showed him the hooks. He was like, oh my gosh. Brilliant. Great invention. I was like, yeah. So anyway, so uh, we, we celebrated Christmas. Right. Um, you know, we had presents and everything. Yeah, it was very So cool. it was that, I asked Winnie, I was like, when do we take the tree down? And you said... You know, some people keep it up, like, through New Year's. I'm kind of like, day or two after. Right. Especially with kids now, because they just want to meddle all right. the time. God bless them. So yeah, just I'm like, eats. by the 27th, I all like it down, and things vacuumed, and things get back to normal. So the day after, so I was like, cool. So Whitney came home from... You know, I wanted I think to surprise her. An errand or something. No, no, Brookdale. You were taking. I know, but I was oh, I was out of classes by then. Okay, I yeah, I yeah, yeah. to get groceries. So anyway, she came back, and I had already taken the tree down. The, yeah, I was like, "Where's the tree?" I was like, "I want to use that next year. It was such a cute tree." You know, I'm very sentimental. I like to hold on to things, and this guy had destroyed it and yanked out the fiber out. Can you can you go grab So it while I appreciate that he got me a Christmas tree. Zai! Yes, sir. Can you hang those fiber optics? I believe that he had an ulterior motive. So in the in Christmas tree yanking out the fiber were these optics. fiber optics. Four concrete. For years. Years. I wanted to make concrete that allows light and color to pass through. So I tore apart the tree and I took all the fiber optics. Are those the fibers from that step? You're still working through those? Yeah, jeez. That's why I bought the tree. I... I feel like you could just order that on like Amazon. Can't. I've tried. Just straight Al up Alibaba. Products. You have to order like four or five oh, tons. Oh, jeez Louise. We use the optical fibers in concrete and we're actually doing an optical fiber concrete for you. So if you think about it, I sacrificed that tree. Right. Wasn't that great of a tree? It was such a cute tree. And like I said, I'm sentimental. I would have loved to have like held on to that and put it up like on the piano or something after having kids. Yeah, it was huge. It was like oh, it was not baby. It was little. Like it sat on our dresser barely. You, no, it was not. It barely went above the uh, the boombox we had on there, right? It was such a cute tree though. 
optical Not fibers. anymore. No, we just have So the moral of the story fibers. is if you're gonna buy your love a Christmas tree, make sure you take out the optical fibers before she gets home. No, that's not. Just buy two I trees like if you want the stinking fibers. <laughs> buy two trees! You can have or one ask your wife if she's gonna want to keep it and then you go from there. I feel like you're attacking a very specific part of the story here. Really? Totally. Truly. No, I disagree. Post something. With optical fibers. With optical fibers. At, At the, the end, end of, of the, the week. week. Go concrete! Beat asphalt. I'm leaving all of that. End scene. End.